In this video, we'll take a look at installing custom titles, effects, generators, or transitions by downloading and installing custom plugins in Final Cut Pro 10.4. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Serge, and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoy these tutorial videos, please hit the subscribe button below. It means a lot to me. But let's not waste any more time and take a look at installing plugins. Now, this applies to the most current version of Final Cut Pro at the time, which is 10.4, and most previous versions. If Apple releases a major update, and this method changes, I'll make an updated video and link it up top. First, before installing any custom plugins in Final Cut Pro, you have to make sure you have the necessary folders in the correct locations to store your plugins. Open your computer's home folder by going up to the menu bar and selecting Go, then choosing Home, or by using the keyboard shortcut Shift Command H. Your home folder should look similar to mine. Next, double click on your movies folder to open it. This will be the storage location of your downloaded plugins. If you see a folder here named Motion Templates, move on to the next step. If, like me, you don't have one, you have to make it yourself. Right click anywhere in the Finder window and select New Folder. You have to name this folder Motion Templates, spelling being very important, so it looks exactly like mine. Next, right click on your new folder and select Get Info. In the Info window, in the Name and Extension box, add .localized to your folder name. This step is very important because it lets Final Cut Pro know where your plugins are stored. Hit Enter and close your Info window. Next, open your Motion Templates folder. If you just created it, it's going to be empty like mine. If you already had one, you might have some folders in it. The folders you want to have in your motion templates are titles, effects, generators, and transitions. If you have these, move on to the next step. If you don't have these folders, create them just like we did in the previous step with a motion templates folder. Right click anywhere inside the finder window and choose create new folder. Once again, spelling is very important and you have to add a .localize extension to each folder. Right click on your created folder, select Get Info, and add a .localize extension to the folder name. Go ahead and create the four necessary folders. Now, for downloading and installing plugins, there's a couple different ways, depending on where the plugin comes from. If the plugin maker includes an installer with a plugin, installation is very easy. For example, I've downloaded a few plugins from brettfx.com. I'll do a video in the near future going over these plugins, but for now, let's just install one. All the effects downloaded from this source come with an installer package that makes installation very easy. To install it, simply open the file by double-clicking on it and accept the license agreement. Next, double-click on the installer package and follow the on-screen prompts. That's all you have to do. The plugin is automatically installed in the proper location. Next time you open Final Cut Pro, your plugin will be in a specified location. The one I just installed is a title plugin, so it appears in the Titles browser. The plugins that do not come with an installer are a little bit harder to install, but still fairly straightforward. The important part is creating the proper destination folders like we did at the start of this video. For example, I've downloaded a free perspective transition from Ryan Nangle. When I unzip this file, there's no installer included, so this has to be installed manually. I'll open another Finder window by using the keyboard shortcut Command N and navigate to my Motion Templates folder. Next, since my example is a transition plugin, all I have to do is drag and drop it into my Transitions folder I created before. Next, I'll restart Final Cut Pro and my transition will be available in the Transitions browser. One thing I would strongly recommend is reading the included instructions before installing plugins. For example, let's take a look at another transition from Ryan Nangle. This is a zoom in transition, so one would assume it goes in the transitions folder. But if I scroll down, it clearly says to install it in the titles folder. This is a titles based transition, so it has to go in the titles folder and will be available from a titles browser. If I installed it in the transitions folder, after restarting Final Cut Pro, it still wouldn't be there. Most reputable developers will include simple instructions with their plugins, and reading and following these can save a lot of trouble during installation. So that's how you install plugins in Final Cut Pro. 
All the examples I talked about in this video will be linked in the description. And like I mentioned before, I will be taking a look at some plugins from bradfx.com in the near future, and I will have a few promo codes I'll be giving away for some of the paid plugins. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below, and I'll answer them as quickly and efficiently as possible. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back next week.